and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about range, the most important number one factor in an e-bike. And I'm also going to be telling you about the two new e-bikes that just came in the market that have the most beastly, insane, biggest batteries in the world. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. E-bike companies overestimate their range by a lot. Some claim anywhere between 45 miles to 70 miles. You know, and this is a, a, on, on pedal assist. And um, they are just assuming, you know, it's a super light rider. Maybe, you know, like, maybe like 120 pounds with no, uh, with no cargo, no wind on a flat, you know, on the best conditions and it's also assuming that this 120 pound person <clears throat> is going to put a hundred percent of their effort in pedaling guys this is just not realistic in my opinion companies should only give us the range that an e-bike can do on its own under its own power that would be a lot more fair Companies do this because for an e-bike, range is number one. How long you can go, how far you can go, is going to dictate its usability and whether or not it fits into your lifestyle. Right now, um, you know, like the big, the considered big batteries are 48 volts, 20 amp hour batteries. Now, last year, Aerial Rider went one step beyond and released the, uh, their X-Class with a 52 volt battery and 20 amp hour battery. And then there's only a very few companies out there with this size battery. Now, if you want to go beyond that, there, there is really nothing out there. You know, there are no 48 volt, 30 amp hour batteries or a 52 volt with a 50 amp hour battery. Like, uh, you know, of course you can get uh, e-bikes with, there's a few now with dual batteries. And as an example is the Aerial Rider Grizzly, which has a 52 volt system and two batteries that equal 35 ampere hours. So the Grizzly e-bike, if you multiply the volts by the, uh, by the size of the battery, so 52 times 35, I will put the <laughs> I will put the result up in the screen. But that's over 15, 1600 watt hour battery. That's that's it's pretty good. So now um, an e-bike brand that's new to the market that uh, stepped it up one more step above is the Wired Freedom. They went to 60 volt battery when nobody else is doing that, you know, on a stock bike. So this Wire Freedom has a 60 volt, 20 amp hour battery, giving you 1200 uh, watt hours capacity. So the bigger the bolt, the more pep you're going to get with your acceleration, the responsiveness, and you're gonna get a higher top speed. I think e-bikes with dual batteries is going to become way more common in the next year. Now, thankfully, there are some companies that notice the deficit of the, uh, of the small, yeah, of, of, of not enough range on e-bikes. So I'm going to talk about two brand new models that came into the market with insanely massive batteries. Number one is a company called Iahora, and they have two models. One is the Romeo and the other one is the Juliet. Now, uh, what they have in common is that they have dual suspensions and uh, the Romeo has a 1200 watt motor that peaks at 1400 and has 120 newton meters of torque. While the Juliet has a 1000 watt motor that peaks at 1200 and has a 95 
newton meters i'm sorry 110 newton meters of torque now what they both have in common is that they have <laughs> i mean it, it's funny because it's so insane i mean they go they went over and beyond they both have 48 volt 60 ampere hour batteries meaning that you're going to get around 2900 watt hours of battery you can get a hundred miles of range on throttle alone guys this has never been heard until now thank you Iahore. and the prices are pretty attainable too for the romeo it's 2300 dollars and for the juliet it's uh 1899 so 1900 but you can get a coupon for a hundred dollars off with Iahora. and also i just found out that you can also buy them on amazon and amazon usually gives like discounts for e-bikes and it just makes it super convenient The next company on our list is the Anioki, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Anioki A8 Pro Max. This e-bike also comes with a 48 volt, 60 amp hour battery. It also has a full suspension, a motor of a thousand watts, and okay. And something very unique that they're doing is that they're also offering a model that's going to be coming with a 52 volt battery. So it has the same motor at 1000 watts, but at a 52 volt battery times 60 amp hours, guys, you're going to get over 3000 watt hours of range. So 30, it's like 3120. Now, this is the single biggest battery in the world. Super impressive. Now, this e-bikes, uh, they weigh like over 100 pounds. So don't expect like to have like, you know, peppy accelerations and things like that. Uh, they are powerful because they are so heavy. Um, they're going to get you where you need to go. They're going to have no problem going up hills. Uh, but like I said, just don't expect uh, peppiness. Now, the Anioki uh, e-bikes, the A8 Pro Max, 48 volt and 52 volts, they come with an 8 amp charger. And uh, this is crucial when you have such huge batteries, like, you know, <laughs> If you had a smaller charger, it would take like 40 hours to charge. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Okay, and okay, so also the Anioki. So with a thousand watt motor, you're gonna get 90 Newton meters of torque. And it has tires that are 20 by four inch fat tires. Now, you get all of this for only $21.99. And you can also find their models on Amazon. I'm going to leave links below for all the models that I'm like talking about, both for their websites and for Amazon. Guys, finally, we are seeing e-bikes that are giving us much improved range. We were desperately needing this. You know, and like I said, of course, with this massive batteries, there's gonna come a lot of extra weight. So I just wouldn't buy one of these e-bikes if you're not going to be using the range. I really hope that you liked this video and it was useful if you're looking for your next e-bike. So who do I think this beastly big battery e-bikes are for? So I think they would be awesome for delivery drivers. I also think they would really work for people that have really long commutes or on the weekends, if you just don't want, want to have, you know, range anxiety and you just want to go on a super long joyride, you will be able to do it with this e-bikes. But I wanna hear your comments and opinions. Would you get one of these two 
to e-bikes even if they're you know heavy and all that but finally the next generation e-bike batteries is here and there's awesome companies so the gap there was in the market and they went for it i bet you in the next two years we're gonna have a lot more companies coming out with dual batteries and single massive batteries guys thank you so much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible and whatever you're doing happy riding <laughs>